Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here. Happy Tuesday. We're waking up to clear but hazy conditions, much like we did yesterday. This was that view in Edmonton throughout the morning commute, uh, but this was sent in by Alan. Thank you so much for sending this in. I think it represents what we're going to be dealing with again for today, especially as that sun continues to rise for that morning commute. So um, overall, we're all waking up to clear skies, at least for that morning commute. As you can see in our live weather cameras, mostly sunny skies are what we're going to continue to see as well. So overall, a really beautiful, quiet Tuesday is ahead of us here. But a few of us are under an air quality warning. That does include parts of Hopkinsville and Clarksville from midnight. That's when it was issued up until midnight tonight. So this does include parts of Christian, Montgomery, Stewart and Trigg as we get worsening air quality due to the smoke and the haze coming in from the north due to wildfires in parts of Quebec, Canada. Temperatures currently are in the upper 50s and those lower 60s right now. We're right around 63 here in Bowling Green, 58 in Greenville. Then we're seeing those lower 50s to our north as well in parts of Fort Knox and E-Town. This will continue throughout the rest of our day. I think it's going to be a great day to walk the dog. Maybe you got to get the car washed, go to walk yourself. This is Poppy, Sunny and Ziggy. They are staying very hydrated on a hot day like today. I think it's going to be a great idea to do that. If you have any photos that you would like us to see of those furry friends, feel free to send them in at WBKO.com slash photos. Otherwise, though, we're tracking temperatures in the lower 70s to start. Then we jump to near 80 by 10 a.m. That sunshine continues through lunchtime and beyond. We'll see those highs topping out in the mid to upper 80s for today. So we're slowly cooling down into the next couple of days. So just prepare for a little bit of some relief from the heat. Now, here's why we're tracking a cold front. It's going to arrive tomorrow, bring us some rain. Uh, but over the course of the next five days, our viewing area could see anywhere between about a tenth of an inch up to an inch of rain, especially there to our north and parts um, to our south as well. So scattered showers are expected. For Wednesday, beyond Wednesday, we we're going to be a little bit cooler there than we were back up, but we stay dry through Friday and Saturday before more showers are expected into Sunday. Now, here's a full look at that seven day forecast. We're seeing temperatures taking a tumble into Wednesday, that high only 78 for tomorrow. Then we're tracking the lower 80s back in the forecast for Thursday and Friday, and then better chances for rain are expected Sunday and Monday. Highs will be in the lower 80s by then.